Hey everyone, it's your boy here, Maine, bringing you another video where I'm talking to my seated VR gamers. All right, so one of the most important things in being a seated VR gamer is what you're sitting on. And yes, I know the HMDs is also important, but what you're sitting on is a very big deal. All right, so what I'm currently sitting on is an X Rocker. And I just saw an article talking about the Roto VR chair. So I figured I had to take a quick look into it and give you guys what I think about it and then compare it to what I know currently about um, gaming chairs. So go ahead and, and check this video out. And, and if you like, hopefully you'll leave some comments below. Tell me what your thoughts are about what a good chair to be sitting on and why. And also hit that subscribe button and a little bell so you get notified every time that I make a new video and post it for you guys. So hopefully you go ahead and you like this video and that it turns out to be something that you really enjoy. All right, thanks people. Okay, first up was Roto VR. And this has, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons and then just the things that I just don't know. So let's start off with the pros. Number one on my list is it's uh, motor powered, meaning it will turn, the chair itself would actually self-turn in order to situate you with the VR world. And that is a phenomenal thing, uh, you know what I mean? For, especially for those of you guys out there that get motion sickness, this might be a very, very good way of uh, mitigating that, All right? Number two on my um, pro list is bass speakers. All right, so what bass speakers do is literally let you feel the world that you're in. You know, when there's an explosion, you feel it rumbling through your body, not just seeing it with your eyes. And that pulls you into the world like nothing else. And then cable management. All right, so it, it has these, I mean, I don't even know what it's called, it is the shaft that you you plug your cable your headset cable in it sits into the base the motor base which then is then plugged in and then the cables coming from your computer is plugged into the base so there's no entanglement as the chair rotates you in a 360 degrees and you never have to worry about your cables spinning until they snap or anything like that we we know there's some people have talked about how entangled their cables have come and how that has caused um issues for them so now let's talk about the con the downside to this chair and i've only seen one so far and that is price this chair comes in at a thousand dollars all right yes you just heard me a thousand dollars and there's a few accessories that would be very handy with this chair, like a table that if you had in Hotas, you can sit it on. Or if you're ra you love racing games, you they're also an accessory to add a racing um, rig to the, to the chair. And having all those in, now we're talking about $1,500. So yeah, cost is a big con on this, but um, it might be worth it to, you know what I mean? So we'll just have to see how that comes out. And then now, what I'm, when I say just have to see how that comes out, here are the things that I don't know about the chair, all right? Because I'm not sitting in one right now. So what I don't know about the chair is comfort. I don't know how comfortable it is for you to sit in this chair long term playing VR. It looks phenomenal. It looks like it's going to be a very comfortable experience for you. And another thing we don't know right now is how to decoupling from the headset and the chair movement works. All right, we I do see how they get it to work where if you look one way, the chair turns in that direction. If you look the other way, the way the chair turns in that direction. I see that. But what I don't know and they haven't explained is how do you have the chair where I look one way and doesn't orient, change my orientation but then when I need to change my orientation in the game, that the chair goes along with it. Now, is it sync with my thumbstick? Is it sync with the touchpad? Is it like I'm pressing on the pedals on the on it or, or what may, may be? Hasn't been explained just yet. So this is something that 
uh, they're going to have to let us know about. You know what I mean? I personally hope that they allow it to be sunk with your um, synced up with your thumbstick for rotation. So if I hit rotation, uh, it may me not rotate me in it. Yes, they say it rotates me in the game, but it also rotates the chair. And in doing that, I think would be, you know, f mm, let me think here. In doing so, it's almost like it changed the rotation of your pl play space. And I love the idea of that because then I would finally get the feel of moving, you know, and, and, and everything along that line. So those two things at the bottom is my biggest concern but I think comfort it looks very comfortable so my biggest concern is how the decoupling works um, you know I don't know how I'll be able to go about finding out that for you guys but I'm gonna try my best alright thanks alright so next up we have the X rocker gaming chair and I have the one that has the pedal stool so it allows me to rotate 360 degree on my X rocker but to be honest, I never do anything more than 45 in either direction. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this game chair. The first one, obviously, out the gate, cost. All right? The one I have literally only cost me about $150. All right? So cost compared to the Roto VR is way down. It is not even like a third of it. All right? Next up will be <clears throat> the base speaker. And like I explained before, what the bass speaker does is literally allow you to feel the world that you're in. Pull your body into the world that you're now playing in. VR, HMDs have tricked your brain into thinking it's in that world from its visual aspects. Now if you add the feel of the body into it on top of it, it is like none other. Trust me on this. Now let's talk to the cons. All right, number one con on this is not motor power. And yes, it's not motor power because it wasn't designed for VR. It wasn't designed to keep you fully immersed and keep you spinning from direction to direction in 300 degrees. It just wasn't what it was designed to do. And, and so it's meant to literally have you staring at a TV screen and playing your game. And it does a fairly good job of that. Next con and it's a big one comfort right is not the most comfortable uh, chair out there all right so much so that I plan to buy a gaming chair hopefully one that I find to be extremely comfortable and then add you know bass speakers to the chair and solely bass speakers to the chair and which now brings me to my third con for the thing and that's the tweeters you know what I mean because and, and everybody's like what the tweeter speakers why would that be a, a, a con well when I'm in my oculus and I have my oculus headset on it covers all the little small sound effects you know the tings of something people talking to you now if you add the voices coming out of the tweeter speakers on the chair along with the voices on the um from my headset it can become a little annoying in time so thank god there's not a lot of games with a whole bunch of um voices going on and everything like that but as we get more into big triple a game i can see that being an issue for me so i figured i might as well currently right now build a chair for myself which i think if i estimated correctly would cost me about three to four hundred bucks so which still brings me in half of what the um the Roto VR would have brought me in at and and so for that you know I mean it's it's probably going to be extremely worth it for me to do just that all right just want to thank you guys for joining me once again here and hopefully you enjoyed the video like as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys and if so just go ahead and hit that subscribe button like I said and hit that like and hopefully I hear some comments from you guys so I want to figure out how to make a better pace to grow it just for you guys for all my CDVR gamers out there keep doing what you're doing and don't let those room scalers 
bully you around, okay? Because I'm here to show you guys you can have just as much fun and just as much immersions as they do. All right? Enjoy, people. Till next time.